Perry. Cyril's still poorly. Auntie Beatty sends her love. He can't hear you, darling. He can't hear you. He's in a bloody coma! Thank you, Mr Clever, thank you. I think I know. I said his mummy. He's still hear me somewhere, can't you, darling? Deep inside, little book of love. Yeah, well, you're making a fool of yourself. There's other people watching here. You're making a fool of yourself. But let them look. People still talk to plants, aren't they? To help them grow big and strong. Oh, honey, he's not a plant, Marion. He's a cabbage! Plant, cabbage, whatever. They're still God's creatures. There's a very big no, difference no, between no, a plant and no a cabbage. You've got to listen to me, you madam. Such a because novel. I'm telling you, they're plants. They're completely it's different things. Shut up! Cabbage! Dr Evans, hello. Hello, Dr. Who <laughs> are, mate? Any change in Perry's condition? His heart and circulation could obviously benefit from more exercise. Well, couldn't we all? <laughs> <laughs> and there is a slight build-up of fluid in his lungs. Oh, God, Leon, no. Oh, no. I do, however, have some very good news about Perry's kidneys. Oh, yeah, what's that then? I've managed to find a buyout for one of them. Oh, that is good news. Very good. That's good news. No. And he's prepared to pay two and a half thousand pounds. Two and a half grand? Two and a half grand? Unbelievable. Tell you what, he can have them both for four at a lovely price, at a terrific price, two possible? for four grand. Can you do it? Yeah, that would actually kill Perry, Mrs. Cohen. Do the testicles next month. I think we just throw them up for the time being. Just a while. 